Hi, I'm Dom Femulara, back with you with Drumio. What's exciting about this here is that we bring these ideas to you in the confines of your home, your studio, wherever you are, you have this available information to take with you and to step into a world of opening up our minds to take in new ideas, to just try out to see if we can plant some seed to grow this creativity inside of you that makes you the next generation of great drummers in the 21st century. Bass drum playing, our feet, this is where the future is going because there's so much we can do with our feet as an extension of our hands. I always thought of it that way, that what I did with my hands, I wanted to do with my feet. So understanding that, the development of learning was first this heels down concept of playing heels down. So there are certain exercises in stick control that you can go through. And let's take some of the exercises at the, in stick control on page five, where I'm playing maybe one right foot and three left. Left is my weaker foot. So to play these patterns, I've got to really work my foot better. So if I play it on bass drum and hi-hat, this happens. Check this out. I've got to really work that left foot. Now, you're going to find the tempo that's good for you. If that's too fast, slow it down. Find the tempo that's going to allow you to play it, but you're going to work for it. You want to work for it. You don't want to feel tension, and you don't want to feel any kind of tightening happening up because tension is the enemy of movement. So we want to stay away from tension, but you do want to work your foot so you can feel the strength developing. Now, that's heels down. Now, what happens, I play a lot of heels up. So the next level was to understand how to practice this at that level. So if I bring my heels up a little bit, I have this. A whole different feel. What you're gonna find out is how high you sit on your set, on your seat to approach your set, how close you are, and you always wanna have good balance. Balance is everything. Balance is everything in drumming, and balance is everything in life. With good balance, we have to approach our drum set with good posture. One of the things I see from drummers around the world is I just, the, the, the posture level is not good. So I ask you to be aware of your posture. If you're slouching, slouching is a position of tension. If I'm slouching, I'm closing the ability of my lungs being able to move. I'm not getting all the air in. If I sit up, even if you just tuck your lower back in, if I sit up, I have way more oxygen to get into because my lungs can fully expand and I can bring in the air that I need to play the drums. I gotta play this and I need the energy and the strength and the air that I can produce the energy to create what I need out of my mind to get them onto the drum set. So with this here now with our feet, it's the same level of playing. So with this now, if I begin to play on my pedals, the same kind of exercises, I have this, heels down. Heels up. It is these exercises that will eventually get you to a place of speed. Not everything is about speed, but I gotta tell you something. Speed is fun. I like playing fast when I need the speed. I don't always play fast, but when I want it, I want it now. So I want that ability to be inside my playing and inside my skill base so I can play it that way. So if I'm playing certain patterns with my feet, like this, I wanna have the control with my feet. Check this out. Not only is there articulation, there's power, there's speed, there's control, there's a lot that's involved with that that can give you the ability of being able to express what you feel. So now if I take a pattern, let's say I play a, a call and answer pattern. I'll play a snare drum pattern, then my feet pattern, like this here.
Play a pattern with your hands, then play a pattern with your feet. Take it slow. Find a pattern that's comfortable for you and push yourself. I still, to a certain degree, push myself to see if I can kind of maintain the level of what I'm trying to express of the pattern that's in my head. Then you can play back and forth with different patterns. For example, like how about flam patterns with my hands and then flam patterns with my feet. Check this out. This is really out of stick control. If I do this. with it. Feet and hands together. You never know what you're going to discover until you take the effort to try to discover it. So push yourself with it. Have fun with it. Experiment with your hands and feet. Look at this like it's all one unit and have fun. Play, have fun, and go for it. <laughs>